In this section, what we're going to be doing now is looking at motion tracking and some of the things that you can do with that. So to do that, I'm going to start with a new composition. And again, we'd make a new composition by just dragging a piece of footage onto that composition button there. I'm going to close out these other ones that were there, and we're going to start with just this clean one. Now this, again, is the original unstabilized footage. It jumps all around. And that is what we're going to be working with here for this next section, because what we're going to be doing here is duplicating a very common kind of reality video sort of effect. And that shaky camera is going to just increase the verisimilitude of that reality video. So what we want to do here is actually apply a mosaic to obscure the identity of our hummingbird here. Assuming that our hummingbird is some kind of perpetrator or alleged perpetrator in some sort of heinous crime. So what we're going to be doing now is tracking that hummingbird and we're going to be applying that tracked information to another layer in order to apply a mosaic effect just to the hummingbird's head, the hummingbird's face. And you've seen this effect many times, of course, in reality video. Now, in order to do that, first of all, we need to track something in the frame for that hummingbird itself. And the thing we want to do, of course, is basically track his head. So let's go back to the beginning here. And we're going to now track motion instead of stabilize motion. So I click the track motion button here. I get another track point again. And of course, we're going to just increase the size of this, make it a little bit easier to move around. And we're going to position our center point of the feature right on that little white spot in his eye. Now let's again zoom in a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing here. We're going to make the feature his eye, in fact. Now there's a place where his head moves around a little bit, and so what we're going to do is increase the size of this, and we may need to adjust the size of the feature later on as well, but that's okay, we can do that. Now, we've basically set the area that we're going to be tracking, and we're going to now derive some track data. We're not going to be doing stabilizing this time, so we're not going to be applying that information that we track to things like rotation or anchor point, but we're going to be applying it to something that's going to be happening on another layer entirely. So let's just get our analysis going here and see what happens. And we want to track just the position of his head, basically. Now we are, we are moving around in, in such a way that we're kind of losing his eye a little bit, but that's not necessarily a problem because the mosaic that we're going to be using is not really that precise. It's going to be basically covering his entire head. So we really need just to be following his head around essentially. And it's not essential that it gets right on his eye there. We really need to get it just on his head. And as long as it's tracking his head, we're going to be okay here with this motion track. So let's let it go through here. Now if it does, there we're getting a place where we are losing it a little bit. Let's go back to this area. Let's just make sure that we're able to follow that. Although you can see that it does follow that pretty well, even though even though he's moving around pretty fast. And let's open this up here so that we can see where that track information is. Again, this is the feature area of the track. And as long as we, oh, we're losing it right there, so let's adjust the position here. Make our search area just a little bit bigger. Move ahead a couple of frames, adjust that. Move ahead some more frames. Let's just make sure that we're able to keep track of his head in general, because his just his head is really what we're concerned with. If we were actually going to be trying to blur out his eye or something like that, we would want to be tracking the eye itself. But as long as we're keeping track of his head, we're okay. Now, now there we're losing it, so we need to go back. That's because his head turns away and we lose some of that detail. So let's go to here. Let's go to the place. There it is where we're losing that. Let's just kind of expand this and let's move this around and put this more on the center of his head. 
so we get some contrast between his head and the background. Now again, it's not going to be precisely tracking his eye, which is okay in this case, as long as it's tracking his head. All right, we've gotten past the problem area there. Let's just keep an eye on the track as it goes. Now he's going to fly off, of course. That's okay, we'll take care of that when the time comes. But we're getting a pretty good track, and it's actually, right at this point, it's tracking his eye pretty closely, so that's good. Now we're going to have a problem when he flies off, but we'll take care of that by just doing single frame analysis. Oh, he's already starting to go. So here, we'll adjust that. We'll probably need to zoom back out again. Yes, we will. Let's readjust our position. Let's just move ahead a couple of frames. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oops, there he goes. He's moving so fast, of course, relative to the frame that we really need to help the tracker out here a little bit. He's also kind of motion blurred, which tends to reduce some of the accuracy of the track, but again, that's okay. He's flying off here, of course, after having committed his alleged crime. All right, and then we're done. Now the tracker is just gonna stop there at the end because there's nothing left for it to track. And now we're gonna show you how to use that to apply the mosaic to his face, something that you can use in all kinds of other types of productions.